excited that an extravehicular activity is planned in my increment. When I received the news, obviously I was very happy. Uh, I feel privileged that I will have this chance and my biggest desire is to perform well during the activity. One of the dreams of, I would say, every astronaut is to perform extravehicular activity. Uh, and to do that, we have to wear that, the famous EMU suit, the big white suit that uh, is so commonly seen on uh, space footage. The first time I put it on, uh, I was actually very excited uh, because the spacesuit is actually a small vehicle in itself. It has an engine, it has a life support system, um, it has uh, tools that are attached to the suit so that we can perform our tasks. So I was very excited uh, as a pilot and as a test pilot. Uh, the biggest difference between being on the, on the Earth and on orbit is that obviously the lack of gravity in orbit. The spacesuit is uh, over, uh, over 100 kilos uh, of, of, of suit, so uh, it's very cumbersome on the ground. To overcome that, in Houston, we train in the so-called NBL, or Neutral Buoyancy Facility. What it is, it's actually an incredibly large swimming pool, one of the biggest in the world. And underwater, we have a mock-up of the space station on a one-to-one -one scale. And some of the mock-ups are extremely realistic. Now, it's only the outside because the extra vehicle activity is done on the outside of the station. So what we, they do, they put us underwater and they set a neutral, uh, a neutral buoyancy, which means that uh, the suit stays uh, at whatever level in the water we are at, simulating the lack of gravity. It's, uh, it's incredibly uh, tiring, but at the same time, uh, very, very fulfilling because when we work, work uh, with the suit outside the station and underwater in the MBL, it feels like the real thing. So we, are, we can uh, practice our skills, we can uh, utilize the real tools that we would use on, a, on an actual EVA on orbit. And we can uh, exchange uh, instruments, we can fix things, uh, we can move or translate, that's a technical um, uh, the, the technical term to move around the station, uh, translate using those uh, handrails that are all over the space station. And um, it is probably one of the most exciting uh, training that we do um, for our flight. <laughs>